Hello friends, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So friends, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your phone as a CCTV camera. Most of the times, people will have more than one phone or they will have more than one device where you will find that they will be having one phone and one laptop or they will be having one phone and one extra phone or two extra mobile phones. So in such case, you can use those extra mobile you can use those extra devices as the CCTV camera and you can check around, you can supervise, you can know what is going on there at your home, at your house, at your room, in your absence. So then today I'm going to show you the tricks. I'm going to show you just few and simple steps that you can follow to make your phone as CCTV camera, okay? And you will be knowing whatever is going on without you or in your absence okay so what i want you to do is that i want you to follow each steps which i'm gonna be showing you here and please please don't miss out any of the step which i'm gonna be showing you okay so guys then stick with me let's start now okay so in this video i'm going to use my mobile phone as the cctv camera and i'll be using my laptop as the screen or the viewer okay so it means i'll be using my laptop to view to check to supervise what will be going on there in my room for example in case i'm not there or in case i'm not around okay so let us go ahead with the steps that we have to follow okay so the first step here in my phone the one that i'm going to use as cctv camera is that i will just go to this play store okay so i will just come and click here on this play store okay so after taking me to this play store i will just look for alfred's camera okay so i'll just look for this alfred camera okay so this one's okay so this is the one which i'm going to install in my phone okay so this one so i'm gonna click here on this install okay then wait until it is done so you can see that now it is done so what we're gonna do next is that we have to open this uh, alfred home security camera okay so we shall click here on open okay okay so upon reaching here the next step here is that you have to sign in okay so here you can sign in with your google account or you can sign in with your or you can sign in with your email okay or if you have an apple account you can also continue with that one okay so but for me i will just continue with my google so i'll just click here continue with the google account so then they will just take me here i have to choose which google account i want to use so i'll just go with this one okay so once we reach here this is how it will be looking like okay so here we can see the options we can see uh we can just see here there is this option there is this viewer option okay but if we click there on this viewer option you can see that there is also camera as option so what we're gonna do is that we are going to click here on this uh, camera option okay so we shall change this to camera option because we want to use this phone as a cctv camera or just a camera okay so switch to camera then we have to uh, click here okay okay so and uh, the next thing that we have to do here is that we have to just allow these permissions okay so we shall click here continue continue yeah okay so then also we have to give this permission to appear on the top of, of the other apps okay so we shall give the access okay so they will take us to this settings here okay then we have to just come and enable this one okay so we shall enable this one okay so after here we have to just go back and as you can see my camera here it is has started working okay so it has started recording things but what we have to do next here is that we have to connect to the viewer okay so you remember i've told you that my laptop is going to act as the viewer or is going to act as the screen okay so through which i'll be monitoring through which i'll be supervising what will be going on in my absence okay so then same way as this phone here is connected to the internet or i'm using my data here so your laptop also 
must be connected to any source of internet okay so be wi-fi or be hotspot doesn't matter what matters is that it is connected to the internet okay so okay so then here at my laptop what i'm supposed to do is that i'm supposed to go to any of the browser here but i recommend you that you should use this google chrome okay and then here after reaching here on google chrome what you are supposed to do is that you are supposed to type Al alfred's web camera okay so we are going to use the alfred web camera because in this desktop or in this laptop we don't have uh, this alfred store software okay so we shall just go with this alfred web camera okay so we shall just go with this okay so and you have to remember we want to use this as a viewer okay so we shall go with this second option here okay so we shall click here albert web viewer okay so we shall click this okay so after reaching here what we're gonna do is that we are going to sign in with the same email that we used on the phone okay so it means it has to be the same account okay so then we shall come and click here sign in with google okay so same way as it happened here with my phone they will just give me the google accounts or if they don't give those google accounts to you can just log in with the same email okay so this is the same account which i've used with my phone here so i will just choose this one okay so i will just click there like this then they will just show me they will take me here and as you can see here they are showing us uh this untitled camera you can see that here it is showing this uh, keyboard of my laptop here as same way here it is showing with my phone okay so then what we're gonna do next is that you are going to just click here on this camera here okay so we shall click here on this camera here okay so okay, here. As you can here there are yeah, this annoying voice here. Here. Yes. so to remove this annoying voice you can just come and click here, here. Yeah. camera setting okay then disable this microphone yeah, so now it's fine we can just go ahead with you so as you can see now you can see that what's going on here with my phone what is being shown here as i move my finger like this my hand you can see that it is also being shown there in the laptop okay you can also click this full screen to view okay and as i've told you you can just use this phone as the cctv camera so what you're gonna do is that you will just have to take your phone okay and go find a right place a nice place to mount your phone okay or to place your phone so that you will be uh checking so that you'll be um supervising whatever will be happening or will, will be going on inside your room okay in your absence so then the next thing that we have to do is that we have to mount this phone holder just like this where i will place this phone okay so i have to just mount it on this wardrobe here this wardrobe mirror like this then place my phone here the one which will be acting as cctv camera okay so that is what i'm going to do now okay so as you can see now it is well mounted on this wardrobe mirror here okay so what we're gonna do next is that we are going to switch off this light okay so we can just make it to sleep okay just like this okay and even after doing like this it doesn't mean that it is going to stop so it means it will continue recording it will just continue sending the information sending the video to the viewer okay so what you're gonna do next is that you are going to change to the front camera okay so as you can see with this ccdp camera or this camera from this mobile phone is recording uh, using the real camera or using the back camera okay so but what we're gonna do is that we are going to change it to the front camera so that even here on the laptop or on the viewer screen we can be able to just detect the things which are happening okay so then what I'm going to do now is that I'm just going to click here on this switch camera here so I will just click here switch camera and as you can see now i'm clearly visible you can see that 
I'm visible here. Uh, this is where my target is. Okay, in case I want to see what will be happening there in my home or in my apartment, or everything you can just detect, you can just provide, you can check around what will be happening there in your absence. Okay, you can see that I'm able to just look at myself now but let's say i'm out of this room or i'm out of this apartment it means i'll be able to check with this laptop if i'm with this laptop or if i'm with this uh, viewer screen i'll be able to monitor i'll be able to change everything with this viewer screen and the good thing is that you can also light or just switch on this flashlight here like this as you can see there the light is on okay and i can also switch it off okay i can also just make this let me switch on to this front camera you can also i can just be able to rotate it like this okay and in case uh, i want to record i can also record what is going on there for example as an evidence yeah yeah so you can also take some snapshots there yeah everything you can do it for example you can also warn the people who are there or like what might be going on there for example in case the baby is crying there or some scenario are happening there you can just uh, switch on this siren here okay if you switch on this siren the phone that you've said to be like the cctv camera it will start making noises just like this okay you are about to activate the siren on your remote camera by doing this your camera will start wailing at the maximum volume until you turn it off by tapping the button again okay so if we confirm like this you can hear that there is a certain noise uh, from the camera there okay but you can also switch it off like this okay we can also try to change the settings of this camera okay just here you can just come and change everything here motion detections like this detect motion and record the videos automatically just like this okay you can enable like this one and in case any motion is detected on your camera this uh, viewer screen will start recording okay for example if uh, an unexpected person enters your room then the camera will detect that there is a certain movement which is happening and then it will start recording okay so that's the use of this motion detection and there with your viewer screen you can check around even after the motion has already happened because it will be saving it will be recording those videos and it will be uh, saving them on your storage okay uh, and these are also some other settings here okay you can also rename the camera you can also um, change the detection mode here or motion or person only but here you have to be premium user okay so you can also enable this auto low light filter okay yeah these are just settings that you can just customize here and make your camera be nice let us just open it again okay as you can see it is just live now okay let me try to use full screen as you can see here there is this auto record okay so the reason it is auto recording it is because i'm doing some movement and as i've already told you we've said that if it is detecting some kind of movements there or motions it will start um, recording okay and saving them to the storage okay so but if i keep um, myself stable like this in one position it will stop recording after some time because it will not be detecting any kind of movement as you can see there is no motion at all so but if i try to do some kind of motions again it will start recording again okay so that's the beauty of this cctv camera that you made yourself from your spare phones or from your spare devices okay so for those videos which are recorded during these motions detection 
you can just come and click here uh, on your laptop or on your, on your viewer screen then you can just check around what it has been happening okay so let us just click in as you can see here we are having a bunch of 12 videos you can just come and click in okay so you can see all of these are the videos which were recorded during movements okay so just click on this one okay so just play this one you can see play also this one you can see these are those videos they will just be recorded in 30, 30 seconds. seconds just the, low, the, the longest duration that you can record this video it is just 30 seconds okay so but if, if you upgrade to the uh premium uh, version means you have to pay more privileges that is not amount that you have to pay means you will be having this option or you will be able to record the video for a longer duration of all about 120 seconds okay or 120 seconds just two minutes okay and uh, one more thing is that if you want to use the hd um or the this higher quality video on the CCTV camera you also have to use the premium version of this app okay so that is how this CCTV camera works from your mobile phone from your spare devices that you don't uh, use at all but still they are beneficial to you as you can see you can use them to detect but use them to check around what is happening what will be happening in your absence so that is how we do this that is how we can make ourselves be able to check around at our homes be able to check around our, our families and everything which will be happening in case you are not there in case you are not present there so thank you guys i hope that you really like my video and if you want to have if you want to keep watching videos like this every day regularly make sure that you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like my videos thank you guys thank you stay blessed